The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, designates World Heritage Sites of Outstanding Universal Value to Cultural or Natural Heritage which have been nominated by countries which are signatories to the UNESCO World Heritage Convention, established in 1972. Cultural heritage consists of monuments, such as architectural works, monumental sculptures, or inscriptions, groups of buildings, and sites, including archaeological sites. Natural features, consisting of physical and biological formations, geological and physiographical formations, including habitats of threatened species of animals and plants, and natural sites, which are important from the point of view of science, conservation, or natural beauty, are defined as natural heritage. India accepted the convention on 14 November 1977, making its sites eligible for inclusion on the list. As of 2022, there are 40 World Heritage Sites located in India. Out of these, 32 are cultural, 7 are natural, and 1, the Kanchenzonga National Park, is of mixed type. India has the 6th largest number of sites in the world. The 4 sites to be listed were the Ajanta Caves, Elora Caves, Agra Fort, and Taj Mahal, all of which were inscribed in the 1983 session of the World Heritage Committee. The most recent site listed was Dholavira, in 2021. At different times, two sites were listed as endangered. The Manas Wildlife Sanctuary was listed between 1992 and 2011 due to poaching and activities of the Bodo militias, and the monuments at Hampi were listed between 1999 and 2006 due to risks from increased traffic and new constructions in surroundings. One site is transnational, the architectural work of Lake Obusia is shared with six other countries. In addition, India has 49 sites on its tentative list. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe other channel, so let's start. Number 1. Ajanta Caves, Maharashtra The caves at Ajanta represent a collection of Buddhist art from two periods. First monuments date to 2nd and 1st centuries BCE and were created by the followers of Theravada Buddhism. Further monuments were added in the 5th and 6th centuries CE, during the Vakta dynasty, by the followers of Mahayana Buddhism. The monuments are masterpieces of Buddhist art and exhibited strong influence in India and in the broader region, especially in Java. Number 2. Elora Caves, Maharashtra Elora Caves comprise 34 temples and monasteries that were cut into a 2 km mi, long basalt cliff between the 7th and 11th centuries. As they were built by followers of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism, they illustrate religious tolerance of the period when they were constructed. The largest temple is the Kailas Temple, pictured, that is elaborately decorated with sculptures and paintings. Number 3. Agra Fort, Uttar Pradesh Agra Fort is a 16th century Mughal imperial fortress in Agra. It got its present layout under the Emperor Akbar. The complex contains several palaces, Jahangiri Mahal picture, audience halls, and two mosques. Stylistically, it is one of the high points of the Indo-Islamic architecture, with influences of Persian and Timurid architecture. Number 4. Taj Mahal, Uttar Pradesh Taj Mahal is the finest example of the Indo-Islamic architecture. It was built in Agra on the bank of the Yamuna River as a mausoleum of Mumtaz Mahal, the Persian wife of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, between 1631 and 1648. It was designed by Ustad Ahmad Lahori and built in white marble with inlay with precious and semi-precious stones. The tomb is surrounded by four freestanding minarets. The complex also includes the main gate, a mosque, a guest house, and surrounding gardens. Number 5. Sun Temple, Konark, Odisha The Hindu temple was built in the 13th century and is one of the finest examples of the Kalinga architecture. It represents the chariot of the solar deity Surya. On the outer sides, it has 24 wheels, carved of stone and richly decorated, and it is pulled by six horses. Other decorative motifs include lions, musicians, dancers, and erotic scenes. Number 6. Group of Monuments at Mahablipuram, Tamil Nadu the monuments around the town of Mamalapuram were built in the 7th and 8th centuries under the Palva dynasty. There are different types of monuments, the Rathas, which are chariot-shaped temples, Dharmaraja Ratha, the Mandapas, rocket temples, rock reliefs, including the giant descent of the Ganges, Shaw Temple, Pictured, and other temples and archaeological remains. 
The artistic expression of the monuments was influential in the broader region, including Cambodia, Vietnam, and Java. Number 7. Kaziranga National Park, Assam. Kaziranga is located in the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River. It is one of the best wildlife sanctuaries in the world, home to world's largest population of the Indian rhinoceros, pictured, as well as tiger, Asian elephant, wild water buffalo, and the Ganges River dolphin. The wetlands are important for migratory bird species. Number 8. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, Assam. The sanctuary along the Manas River covers grasslands on floodplains and forests, both in lowlands and in hills. The area is a biodiversity hotspot and home to several endangered species, including the Indian rhinoceros, Asian elephants, pictured, wild water buffaloes, tiger, sloth bear, pygmy hawk, G's golden lungoon, and the Bengal florican. The forests are constantly being renewed after floods and changes of the river courses. Between 1992 and 2011, the site was listed as in danger due to poaching and activities of the Bodo militias. Number 9. Kyoledio National Park, Rajasthan Initially a duck hunting reserve for Maharajas, Kyoledio is a man-made and man-maintained wetland. It is important both for migratory and resident birds, especially water birds. Over 350 species of birds have been recorded, including 15 species of herons, Siberian crane, and greater spotted eagle. Pictured here is a group of bar-headed goose and demoiselle cranes flying together in the park. The park is also protected under the Ramsar Convention. Number 10. Churches and Convents of Goa Old Goa was the capital of Portuguese India, a colony that lasted for 450 years until 1961. The site comprises seven churches and convents that were built in the 16th and 17th centuries in Gothic, Manuline, Mannerist, and Baroque styles, but were also adapted to suit the local techniques and resources. They were influential in spreading of architectural influences to countries in Asia where Catholic missions were being established. The Basilica of Bomb Jesus, where St. Francis Xavier is buried, is pictured.